When I was younger, my parents took us to Italy to visit family over summer vacation. And as a result of that, I ended up spending time in the kitchens of my aunts and my cousins. And I learned a thing or two about how they liked to do things. One of the things that really stood out to me was how much of the time wonderful food was created just using a few simple ingredients. And I also became acutely aware about how food was more than just nourishing nourishment, but a powerful way to bring people together. So being inspired by the time spent with my family in Italy, here are some simple dishes that you can put together in five minutes. And these are perfect for casual evenings at home, but also impressive enough for easy entertaining. So let's get started. The first one is called ricotta con limone or ricotta with lemon. Now ricotta is a very versatile cheese and it can be used in a number of sweet and savory dishes. And this recipe is as easy as it gets and there's no need to be exact with it. Now this delicious appetizer comes together in about 60 seconds and you just need some nice ricotta cheese. To serve four to six people, I put a couple of cups or so into a bowl and just give it a quick mix to break up any lumps. Set it aside for a moment and we're going to grate the zest of one lemon. Add the zest to the ricotta, reserving a little bit of it for the top. And we're going to grind in some fresh black pepper. and a teaspoon or so of oregano. Combine all these lovely flavors together and put it into your serving bowl. Top it with the last little bit of lemon zest and drizzle with some nice olive oil and serve it with some crackers or some fresh bread. This ricotta dish is very versatile too because you can also put it on some capecolo slices with some arugula or basil. Roll it up and you have another tasty option. This next dish can be enjoyed year round and it's called peperone rostite con noci e olive or roasted red peppers with walnuts and olives. This is one of those rustic but impressive dishes that just gets better and more flavorful the longer it sits. So try to make it two or three hours ahead of time to let all those wonderful smoky nutty flavors develop. This recipe is so simple using a jar of roasted red peppers, which adds a nice smokiness to this dish. And this will serve about four people as a side dish. Take the peppers out of the jar and slice them up thinly. Then grab a clove of garlic and chop it up. Heat your pan to medium-high heat and add about two tablespoons of olive oil. Add in about three quarters of a cup of walnuts, a teaspoon or so of capers, the garlic we chopped up, and a half a cup of olives. Let this mixture cook for about a minute or two and then add the peppers and cook for another minute or so. and top with some fresh chopped parsley. You can serve it right away like this, but if you allow the flavors to really come together, just let it sit for a couple of hours and serve it at room temperature. Right now, peaches are in season and I picked up a big box of them earlier this week and I had the idea that I wanted to create a salad with them. So I sliced up a peach and I walked around my garden and I was trying a bit of the peach with each of the different herbs that I have growing in my garden. And I came up with this winning combination for a wonderful salad which got gobbled up immediately and I think you'll enjoy it. 
Here is another one minute dish. And we'll start with a few fresh peaches and we're going to chop them up into chunks. Pop them into your serving bowl and add a squeeze of lemon. Now just slice off a nice chunk of Grana Padano cheese and cut it into the peach mixture. Top with some basil and drizzle with some olive oil and serve it up. And if you're wondering if olive oil goes with fruit, yes, it absolutely does. This salad is a nice juxtaposition of flavors and I brought some of this over to my mom and she loved it. Making your life at home better is such a worthy endeavor and enjoying the pleasure of good food is such an integral part of making your house a home. And you can create first-rate dishes using simple ingredients lovingly prepared to make a bit of magic in your home and make life a little sweeter. Thank you so much for spending a bit of your day with me. I sure do appreciate it so very much. Take care everyone and we'll catch you in the next one.